Hi everybody, this is Sherry and I wanted to show you a project I made. A lady asked me to make something that could sit on her mother's desk but um, could also hold a picture of her twin boys that will be that will be turning three soon and I'm so addicted to my magnolias and I really one don't really have I don't think I have any boy stamps but I mean I could have done a cricket image that was a boy but I love this image and I thought this would be a really cute whether it was for a boy or a girl I think it was still adorable and um, I used under construction Tilda from Art Attack Supply and she actually has a I guess it's supposed to be a barricade or a sawhorse or something um, behind her I'm guessing a barricade because she's a construction worker not you know um, a farmer or a woodworker person and uh, and my daughter helped me figure out how to cut that out of the picture because it was making my thing too wide and I only had um, I believe four inches to work with this one as well and so then we cut the hand out and drew it like her hand was behind her back and I'll show you I'll, I'll zoom in closer when we get to that point but my daughter helped me figure out how to do that so I really appreciated that that made the thing a whole lot easier and um, and then right here on the outfit I collared her up with my Copics but on the construction workers vest there's supposed to be like a silver reflective tape and I used this let me see if I can get it here for you it's a clear star jelly roll pen and it looks just like the white one except it's called clear star and it I think it completely covers up whatever you put over top of it or what if you put this over top of something it completely covers it up but it's supposed to not do that but if you make it thick enough it does so I just kept going over it until I had it completely silver and shiny and looked um, reflective and then um, let's see what else did I do I cut the car here with my Cricut Explorer from the B is Boy cartridge and that was cut at two inches. The safety cone here was cut from the Pixar Cars cartridge and I can't remember, I'm sorry, how how I cut or how high I cut it. I think it was an inch. I'm pretty sure it was an inch I cut it at. And I had to trim just a tiny bit of it off over here on the side. And then again, I use my Fisker's Cloud Punch, which I love. And you can see my car is on an action wobble, which I think is just too funny. And then here's the little road I cut out on my Explorer. I cut the car out on my Explorer. That are on my Explorer. And then this, the clouds and the grass here are from my Fisker's Punches. This is my Magnolia uh, under construction Tilda, which I got from Art Attack Supply. And, uh, but this is kind of a strange thing. I don't know how to show it to you. It, this is where her grandson's pictures will, picture will go. The two boys will be together on the back. And this is one of the things, I didn't steal it, okay, <laughs> before I say this. This is one of those things that you see sitting in restaurants where, you know, there's something on both sides. And um, there was a Chinese restaurant that went out of business here in town. And they knew a lady at our church real well. And so they gave her a bunch of stuff and she didn't want this and so she gave them to she gave them to me and asked if she thought if I thought I could do anything with them and there was only a couple and so I hung on to them thinking I have no idea what I'm gonna do with these but this just seemed to be the perfect idea because there was really no way to work the way I wanted it to put the boys pictures in in this part now if the lady wants she could actually and she has a small enough picture 
she could actually cut this out cut them out use this as an outline cut them out and put the boys right here inside the little car because that is a big enough space it's about probably an inch and a half by an inch and a half so if she has a small enough picture she could even put the boys in there and uh, and then when the car wobbles you know they would wobble with it and then on the back I just carried the grass on through and then um, left the blue for the background for the picture and uh, so it wasn't the the most difficult part was just trying to figure out how I wanted to work this for boys because I don't I just realized I don't do a lot of boy stuff and I really do like magnolia stamps so I guess I'm gonna have to start purchasing some uh, Edwin stamps because you know if I am going to continue doing stuff for other people I guess I'm going to need to do some boy stuff it's just little girls are so much fun to color and um, but I just pushed everything down real tight used my bone folder on it to make sure it was um, real up against it and it wasn't gonna come loose and it was on real snug this part down here I was able to use my ATG tape but up here I had to use my E6000 because the ATG tape would not stick to the um, slick plastic but again it sits up like this and then there's I put I put the grass to follow through because I just thought it would go with it and then the picture slides in the back and so there's something cute she can face this out and people can see this and ask why she has it and then she can show off her grand grandsons or she can face it out and have her grandsons facing out and look at the little picture if she wants so I hope that you guys like this I really enjoyed it my daughter put the highlights in here on the car for me with my uh, white jelly roll pen because I was I couldn't see it this morning and I was having a heck of a time I was supposed to give this to the lady well I set myself a deadline of last Friday and I didn't get it done and she doesn't need it yet but I want it I always like to be ahead of the game and um, so I was getting I get very anxious and nervous when I do things for other people if I do them and because I want to do them and I just give them to somebody I don't get anxious but when somebody is asked for something specific and is is wanting to pay me for them I work myself up into a tizzy which is not what God would want you know you know what man adds a minute to his life by worrying the Bible tells us and you know I sure didn't add any <laughs> I probably took a whole bunch away actually because I was just so nervous but I hope that she likes it and I'm gonna try to make a box real quick for it to go in so I will um, let you all know what she thinks of it when I come back and do another video. Thanks for visiting me today, guys, and happy crafting. Bye!